Welcome everyone to the Friday edition of the stream. Today we're going to be working on more Bracky's Game Jam stuff. It's coming along. It's coming along. We will probably be doing some more art today off the top. Uh, I want to start working in day phases and fog of war. That's kind of like the next thing. So uh, this is where we left it last time. Somewhere like this. I think we decided that this was too much. Too much. And that this is probably more the speed of what we want in terms of scale. I've been so against creating a tile set, but I think I think yesterday at the end of the stream, we kind of left off on a, on a, how do I put this? On an idea that I don't think is really functional. At the very least, I don't think that the concept for the small characters, like I don't think it was a fair comparison to say, oh, this looks so much better than, than, than this. And it's so much more achievable because it's, it doesn't involve anything that's difficult. Um, and it doesn't offer a solution for well, most of the issues to do with scaling and things like that. So, you know, if I was going to have trees, are they just repeated, you know, these trees over and over and over and over again? These little guys, do I just mass copy paste them? Maybe, maybe that's the way to do it. I think it comes down to really a question of to, to what extent are we prepared to populate this as if it was like a map versus an environment. As in, this is an environment. This is a map. I think what I've got currently gameplay wise is kind of an interesting solution because it means we can scale in and out between something that feels like a map or an environment without it really, you don't really notice what's happening. And so if the world was just a bunch of trees and when I zoom in the tree sprites are the same size no matter what and they just sort of bunch together you're still looking at the same pixel art it just happens to be more spread out or less spread out or clustered in the meantime I think I think we have to really get a, a move on of like making this feel like a game uh, it's close I just don't have much of a clear scenario so one of the things I want to do is fog of war so let's look at some fog of war examples. So the first thing I need to do is a thing that analyzes the map. Map. Yeah, I'm focusing. No more suggestions. This is definitely a map reader. Okay, um... That's done. Texture done. Hi. Well, that doesn't make any sense, does it? Is this what you wanted? And then I just do the same thing in reverse to get colors by kind. I actually literally am going to do that right now, so... It's definitely a lot shorter. Let's let's all agree to that. So I guess I just now have to populate the colors. Should be able to like pick them, right? You don't need to exist, buddy. That actually did it. One to one, first try. This is a gizmo of the map being re-spat out. Pixel for pixel. I can't believe that worked. <laughs> so many, so many guesses. All right, now we're gonna do some stuff with the tiles. Uh, I guess now that I've got an array of tiles, I want to be able to search the space of those tiles based on the position of the map. So now the task is to create some kind of object pooled sprite particle system for every kind of thing that there is in the map. I want to like dot the map with trees when I'm looking at a tree tile. That's the goal.
Trees. Freaking dot X then. But don't worry, I got it. Okay. So now what I have to do is scale it down by a, no, a larger amount. I don't think I, I don't think it works for me. I've never done this before. I've never clamped an index to make it inside of the bounds. That transition actually feels so good. This, because like you see the trees and you're like, oh yeah, and then they're there. It's completely intentional. Yeah, they stay the same size because I want them to feel more like markers on a map. You know, like Google Maps, if that's the real scale, as you zoom out, they get smaller. You can't appreciate what this view is doing for you. It's either gotta be that the sprites are bigger at this view than this view, or they're smaller at this view. You know what I mean? Like how big would this sprite be if I zoomed all the way out? It'd be tiny, it'd be like a little dot on the screen. I can't remember a time where I didn't want this to be both free and weighted constantly. Every single time I've used animation curve, I've had to change four, val four values just to make it behave the way I want. Oh, that's a bit better. And I can smoothen it out by adding another zoom level if we really want. I don't like that when I zoom out, when I scroll out, it goes towards my mouse. It needs to go away from my mouse when I scroll out. That's better. Yeah, that's what I want. I haven't even done any animations yet. I got so much work to do. Where are we at actually? That's a good question. I haven't done, mate, bloody anything. Where are we? Friday night. All right, uh, well, I do want to do the game art next, which is the, 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 the UI art for the most part. I'm jamming. Oh, that's cool. You can drag now and... Oh, that's so good. You can drag and the camera will drag with your mouse. So I can be like, boom. Now I'll go over here and I can watch the mouse go where I want to go next. And I can zoom out while I'm doing it. There's a bit of, there's a bit of sprite scaling nonsense going on here. I guess I could... Scale it to the screen. Yeah, okay, you know what, I'm doing it. Maybe this should be its own script. I feel like it should be, and I, I feel bad for not doing it. Going the wrong way. Uh, but the plus is going to make it more round. I guess that's kind of what I want. So, uh, an issue I've got is Input Manager. This is the best song. This is the best song. Right now. What you're listening to right now is the best song. This can play at my funeral. too good it's too good oh you saw some trees then you you've seen it basically i'm i'm doing the shitty version of what we were talking about where we just like flood the level with particle with not particles but with objects over the map 
I mean, it's 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 a start, you know. I don't know if I'll be able to get the terrain in or the darker trees or whatever. This is supposed to be mountains. I'd love to do some incidental stuff here and there and some animation. I feel like if you have a, a specific art style and you want to optimize for it, you have to either know exactly how to make it or you have to have so much time that you can invest in getting every little thing right. Otherwise, it's like, why innovate? Especially in a jam. I, I make this mistake most of the time. <laughs> I try to push myself and it's like, well, you know, maybe don't do that. So here's what we want to do. So we're going to make sure that this, this render texture is much smaller than seven. I think I had it, what? I mean, I can make it whatever I want, but the characters are drawn in 640 by 360. Let's say like 320 by 180. We'll go Celeste style. I think we want the alpha to be the alpha like that. That should be the same. And then create a nice lovely quad. We pass the material with the shader on it into the mat for that. Now we get this. Now we want to make this the same size of this as the camera, which is it's 640 by 360. Okay, so now it's trying. Uh, maybe because it's on the camera. Uh-huh. Why lit? Why does it have to be lit? What is that? Okay, we have pixels. So that's not great. How do I fix that? Step. I step it? What do we reckon? Like the fact that this is, it's the worst. Cause it's like a circle that's moving through the pixels. Whereas nothing else is doing that. So uh, I don't think I can resolve that. If I want the circle to be able to scale, it has to move through the pixels. Unless like I made everything animate like that. Like unless I had the trees doing really, really fine granular animation. Like if everything was just a little bit noisy, I think it would be okay. I think I might, I think what I need to do maybe is draw a, a, a really light green particle something around like a lot like a line uh, you know what I'll draw it why don't I why why would I not draw a mock-up for this why would I not do a UX UI mock-up I've been tired this jam you know sometimes it just feels like you you know that if you weren't the one doing it, you'd be able to see what someone was doing and be like, oh, you should do that. But because you're the one doing it, your brain just like doesn't, it's just too invested in something else to like really see what you're missing. Like, of course I should be figuring this stuff out like this. Something like this that's like whizzing around So what I guess I want to do is put noise, gradient noise, that's not quite what I want, but oh damn, not what I expected either. That's like one of those ASCII donuts that people make. I have to design what I want, I'm being, it's too, it's too abstract. I think stepping it's a little weird, but oh, maybe not. I think I don't know what I'm doing, you guys because you're tiling it. Oh, well, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't gonna tile it. And now I... Is it because I'm tiling it, really? If I just put a normal UV in there, it's not gonna do it. All right, I'll be back tomorrow, pals. We'll get it done. Oh, I'm so tired. I wish I'd gone to bed like an hour ago. Uh, that's the stream. As always, I've been Adam, you've been the Pixel Pals, this has been the Indie Tales Game Dev live stream, Bracky's Game Jam 2022.2 edition. Until tomorrow. Welcome pals to a Saturday edition of the stream. We're uh, closing in on the final two days, so I'm going to be streaming all day today. I'm very tired, I didn't sleep that well, unfortunately. 
I slept okay, I just didn't sleep very long. But, uh, we're here for it. It was a fire stream though, wasn't it? A tire fire of a stream? Or a, <laughs> or a fire stream? Whatever you want to call it. So, I want to say a big thanks to everyone who's here. So basically, I made it so that you can pan around the map with your mouse. Like this. When you get to the edges of the screen, it pans. Hey. And you can zoom out to levels of detail. Basically, it's already like this. If you have a leader, a party leader, and you send them away, they become visible at the map scale. So you can have parties that aren't the king's party doing their own thing separately. So I can be like you, you're going to go with him. And uh, you are also going to go over here with him. And then you two are going to come this way. We won! Okay, good. Okay, let's meet up at this castle. Okay, you guys, take. Nice. Right now, the the shadow increasing, I don't think it's enough. I think they need an outline. But I'm going to do some graphics today. I haven't really... None of the graphics in the game right now are like representative of what I expect it to look like. I've been going through a bunch of different art styles, but... I think I want to have another stab at the characters. I think they look okay, but they just need a bit more. It's not that I'm trying to learn... Like, you know, I feel pretty confident in my understanding of the genre of RTS games. It's more just like, uh, because I'm designing a game that's slightly different from all of those games, I'm just trying to consider like what makes the most sense for this game. Like the box model for selecting characters, you know, would be fine, except I've got, I've got parties and party leaders. And so <clears throat> what I'm, what I want to encourage you to do is just move the party around by selecting the leader. But then there's a, priori a prioritization exercise around like, who is the leader? How do you identify them? That kind of thing. It's supposed to be simpler, but right now it's a little less intuitive because no one's familiar with the UX and there's, the UX isn't vis visually there yet. So obviously, well, that's right. So it's just, that's the question. Like, how do you represent the information that's, that the game is made of, right? Like you can always make the game more like other games and that makes it easier to comprehend, but then you're not really innovating. If you're, tr if you're saying, I want my game to play just like this game, then yeah, use the UX lessons from that game. No, no worries. But um, in this context, I'm, tr I'm just trying to do something new. I always try to do something new and sometimes it bites me in the, in the butt, but you know, that's, that's life. Thank you. I think this is pretty much perfect. Thank you so much. Is this clear what this is? Something's not quite right about it, is it? Maybe this is too big. It's so tricky. One pixel in a different direction and it completely changes. It's just so, you know, this kind of work is very fiddly and it just is, that's the nature of it. And you like, it looks good, it looks good, it looks good. And then you, you go backwards and you're like, oh, actually no, it, it looked better only when I did this. It didn't look good then better. All right, now the prints. Oh, that looks cool. Now, what makes somebody look more like a king? AoE2 has some kings in it. It's the white around the collar that does it, I think, and the red, maybe the red gem. It's not bad. It's pretty good. I did want the I did want a character on a horse. I thought that would be cool. And I think I'll make this a woman. It's existed for three seconds. Let it look like something. Just let, let it get there. What's the time? 12 o'clock. Let's 
Let's go. Create a new shader. Create shader. Universal lit shader. I guess gray. Yeah, replace color. Are kangaroos just a common thing to see, like a stray dog or a capybara? You'll see them. I mean, you'll see kangaroos. It's not comparison, it's like predicate. And then a branch. If you drive out of Sydney and you're on like a highway, just like on a road going to like another town, you might see one. Like it's kangaroo across here or wombats or whatever. Yay, bad guys. Seeing them with their little colors makes it so much more enjoyable, right? So what I wanted to do was have a day night cycle. Uh, I wanted to have it so that enemy units group into groups. And I wanted to make it so that castles that are on the enemy territory spawn units every day in the game to create a bit more um, tension for the player because right now the scenario is set and so if you just do nothing and pick your battles you eventually win very easily but if you I, I don't punish you for making inefficient choices currently but if the stakes get bigger every round round then it becomes a little more tense than what I was just about to do which was just to paint the entire level a different color. Oh, it's night time. <laughs> hey. So this is one of those scenarios where I, I might just replace his features every frame. But I need to kind of like onion skin it a little bit. How do I think about this? Maybe we just do one feature at a time. So the head. What do we think of that? These animations are so tiny. Let's just do like a simple animator. I don't need hitboxes, that's why it's not really important to do retrobox. Uh, but now I need a scriptable object to contain the sprites. Okay, you ready? Let's get this thing going. Update frame, so. If time, at uh, one second, six frames will have passed. I know, literally time to pull up my own tutorial there. Sprite equals frame and then frame equals FPS times time. Um, if time is greater than Okay, uh, that kind of probably should work. Go! We have animation. So now inside of warp, we can just say play sheet at 6 FPS. Yay. I 
Okay. Getting closer. The problem is, like in this situation, you only have four frames. If I had six frames, it'd be very easy. Because it's like up, down, middle, you know? Whereas because it's only four frames, it's it's just up down, you know? It's another one of those examples where sometimes you can make it too, like you make it harder for yourself by making it smaller, not the other way around. That'll have to do. Next. Shame I can't animate the arrow in with him. You know what? I'll animate it in his hand. I'm trying to like get all of my like productivity in before I start getting tired. Do I stay up all night tonight? What is going on with me? The horse doesn't go like that. It goes bump, 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 like that. That's what a horse does. Okay. I think we just leave that foot off entirely. The perspective is so hard to get right. Run! Run! Oh no! <laughs> Look at all these guys! Well, this this is all done. Today, where are we? We're at 16 something. We're over here. See, I still need all of this. I need to catch up on all of this. Same difference. Okay. Uh, she is night attack. Go. Do me proud. Get him. <laughs> he threatened him to death. <laughs> No, it needs to be cast to int because it's after the second has elapsed. After the frame amount has elapsed, then you go to the next frame. Night attack. And just see if I made sure that I didn't set this to a weird number. I mean, I, mean, I did set it to 0.5. Oh, no, it's two is what I meant to set it to. I'm an idiot. I'm just an idiot, that's all. Don't worry. I'm a good programmer. I'm just an idiot. It's mostly okay. It's fine. It's fine. I won't spend too much time on this. I was supposed to do this Friday. Let's see what we've got here. I don't have any of this, literally any of this in. This needs to be done tonight. I don't have deaths, but I've got idle. I've got all the attacks, arrows. This won't take me long. Maybe I just do a little. A little grave. It's a lettuce burrito <laughs> with a toothpick in it. Oh, he's dead. Oh, that's so sad. And the grave's like sliding along the ground. The graves suffer knockback. <laughs> exactly. So now. I can actually start looking at this. This stuff, oh, still gotta really solve that. Title art can really happen like much later. Oh, it's been a while since I've done this. Wipe the dust off my keys. So we're doing some music now for my game. MIDI chord analyzer.
that one. And I want to add flex. What kind of atmosphere do we want for our game? I am, yeah, I'm using, uh, I'm using a MIDI keyboard. There you go. I really want to go for something like Shovel Knight. That's like the first thing that comes to my mind. Crossed with Kingdom. This is good for like an intro, some sort of like prologue. Unfortunately, that, that exists already, that melody. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. Can you just take 5k of my points and talk like Whipla Whiplash Fletcher? JK Simmons? Is that what you're asking me? You want me to, you want me to talk like J.K. Simmons? Ask you if I'm rushing or dragging? If you could send me a picture of Spider-Man, that would be okay. Is that what you want? Something like that, huh? That's one I got in the pocket. That's that's one I know. <laughs> Look, it wasn't quite my tempo. All right. Um, that's actually quite good. These, they are very good. I hate it. I hate everything I've done so far. It's just a little, it's just a little bit, um, stable. It's too stable. I always find this with my stuff. I want to, this is the thing. I'm going to have like a track and the track adds bits when combat happens. Strings come in. Like I want to, yeah, I want to build it. I've never done it before, but I want to. I think, I think I'm just going to have to leave it for, an, for now. I'm going to take another stab at this a little bit later. I, I don't know what's going on with me. I'm just kind of like my brains, the brain box is not, it's not juicing, you know, I'm not getting the juice. And part of me is like, well, it's because you don't have a game yet. So I'm just going to leave it. Well, I don't want to discuss the music because I, I don't have a, a very good musical technical background. So my, my, the thing that I'm trying to do, which I know I can amend musically is actually more of an affect of the fact that I'm not comfortable with this and me worrying about stability and it going nowhere is kind of more just symbolic of me being a bit anxious about the project. Like really, yes, it needs to kind of have a stable base. Maybe you move in a few places, but the layering is what will give it life. It's kind of a microcosm of what we're doing here. I'm talking in a little bit of a rambly fashion. So too anxious, too anxious. We'll come back to the music. I always freak out like this. And then when I've got no time left, I just smash something on the keyboard and it sounds good. That's what we're hoping for a bit later. It's been, I don't know. I mean, I haven't been sleeping very well, but because I've been working, you know, like if I was, if I was just working on Insignia, I would have spent the whole week on this. So what are we doing? What does this class do? It manages the mechanical and graphical aspects of the day night cycle tips on pixel art uh, watch my videos practice a lot pick a project that you want to do a simple simple project take some screenshots of games that you think look or have the vibe of the project that you want to make and do a mock screenshot of your make-believe game and then get excited about making that game and, and Think about the assets that you would need, characters, that kind of thing. Get invested in a project. That's my advice. Okay, what does the day gradient look like? It looks like this. Okay. Well, that's cool.
That's not bad. It's not a bad start. I think we just keep... I, I didn't mind we were like here. Alpha's like 85. If we just like stick to that sort of range. Like maybe at most 128. It's great. It's just the sunset. It's it's wrong. It goes so yellow for so long. It really like fades into it. If we just make this tint a little earlier, bring that in. It feels pretty good. If we made it a minute, I bet you would feel really good. Public day night. Day night. Replenish. For now, we'll write it like that. Um, instantiate night prefab, archer prefab, what, as disabled, because I'll make them disabled, and then I will set them to be good, and then I will enable them. I just need to plug in some prefabs for a night, and then see if that happens. So, we go to the day-night cycle, I make it take five seconds. What though? <laughs> look at these guys. Come on out, next guy. Doom. Yay! Come on in! Join the team! Dunk. Except now everything is getting harder. Everywhere. It's a war! <laughs> Look at the casualties! <laughs> oh, that's actually so cool. <laughs> okay, well, the day-night cycle can probably take a little longer than five seconds. This was done at 10.33. This was done then. Fog of War does not exist yet. UI does not exist yet. Well, not fully. We're running out of time, you guys. I I did that, and I did I don't have that yet, but it's down in the thing. Title screen will need to happen at some point. So, Fog of War. Previously, I've done this with Particle System and shader usually i am a full-time game developer and i work on my own stuff when i'm not doing that my background is in user experience design and i'm currently like this year i've been mostly doing part-time user experience design work on a contract job so i've been 50 50 this year last year i was 100 percent game dev i guess what i want to do is say every character if they're a good character they contribute to the fog of war being gone. So we need a an index test. I have tiles, right? Map. But then would I want to do that as a map or as a like a some kind of like data structure that lives on t next to the map or adjacent to the map? I think so. I think it's the other one. Man, it would be a lot easier to just do it the way that I want to do it. So I'll, I'll do it that way. It's very short-sighted, but we don't have much time. Let's focus on one thing at a time, Adam. So I have X and I have Y, and I say position. First I have offset. I don't know what that is, man. I don't know why I'm doing that. Is this because of the sprite? This is clearly wrong. It's, it's not even close. Progress. We'll see. A lot to do. Probably not going to be able to do it all. You divide it by the scale, right? We'd do it this way, right? We'd say, how many tiles in the map? How big is one tile? Where is the origin of the map? I think I know what I'm doing here, sort of. If I made this like, let's just say 16 by 16. If I made it way smaller, what happens? Oh, the trees still figure themselves out. So they're actually accurate. If I move the map, how good would it do that? Like over here. Oh, no shit. Okay, wow, that's actually, that actually works. I actually wrote functional code. Can you believe that? Do I just like go to bed and do it in the morning? There's no way I'm gonna have time. I have 12 hours. If I sleep now, I'll have 12 hours when I wake up, but I can't. I can't stay awake. I'm gonna be screwed in the morning if I try. Yeah. Uh, I'm just noticing that my performance is dropping. 
my ability to like make decisions and to read the code that I'm writing doesn't make any sense. I think I will do that. I think I'll go to sleep and roll rush tomorrow. I'll just, I'll see if I can tackle this one thing and then I'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. So we have a vector two. It doesn't seem right. Oh, hang on. I mean, it's, it's accurate to his position. It shouldn't be accurate to his position because it's, it's an integer, but I'll figure that out in a second. I guess that is correct. These things do the inverse of each other, but they don't do what I think they should be doing. So I've done, I've subtracted this from it. The next thing I want to do is divide by transform dot lo local scale. Pray again. This should be so straightforward. I should be, I, sh I should have done this like when I built the map, but oh well. Okay, now we're in, now we're in business. Now we're in business. Good. Now I know where you've been, which means I can add the fog of war. Um, I always get this wrong. Okay, so let's say it's... Is that what I have to do? Yeah, Tessellator, what are you doing here? Like, it's not Schadenfreude, it's just like, I love... Misery loves company, is what I'm trying to say. I hate, I hate thinking about making new videos. <laughs> I hate it. I like making the videos. I hate having the pressure of having the video over my head. Uh, okay, let's get a material. Public material, M. How do you do that? That sounds like a thing I can do. How do I do this? How do I do this? Am I doing this right? Can I like... Write to an existing texture? So I go to the shader and I add a thing called fog text. And I just go... New texture 2D fog text. And then over here in node settings I just call it fog text. And then I say, you get sampled. But that won't change it yet. I need to now give my sprite a square. A square. How big, what? Oh. Oh. oh my gosh, it's working. Look, we're exploring and it's filling the texture. I did a thing. I did it, I made that texture. That's the fog of war. That's first try. How much world space is one of these? This is what? 32 pixels. Just hard code it. It's fine. No one will know. Don't tell anyone we did that. Fog of war. Let's go, buddy. Now we can make it really pretty because it's just a shader. How would I, how would I blur? You multiply by what's around it, right? Multiply each of one, each one of the channels for an offset and then add them all together. It's just averaging the color, right? It's averaging the color. That's, that's lame. But don't you have to do that? What, well, you have to do that multiple times? for every amount of blur that you want. If you want it to blur a lot, you have to multiply by every dimension, multiple times, every instance. I don't think I can do that in Shadergraph. I'd love to be able to do a loop. 
It's the same as an outline. You do the same kind of thing. You pick a dimension in each each way, right? You get point one, you get a negative point one. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Sort of. Is the alpha multiplying? What's happening here? It actually does look like fog though now. All right, all right, all right. I'll try using bilinear. Oh, damn. Oh, that's looking great. <laughs> that's a lot easier. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Oh shit, the base color. You're actually literally right. You're, you're actually totally right. I'm just an idiot. It's literally, it was just me. It's just me being an idiot. Don't worry about it. So now, do we give it some mist? It's starting to, it's starting to figure itself out, huh? Like, close enough. Right now, I'm just doing a square. How do I get a circle? I'd have to... Check... The... Distant? <laughs> oh, that's so... That's so ugly. That's literally it. You just don't... Just don't check them. Yeah. That's amazing. Amazing. Look at them all! <laughs> so, oh man, we actually made a fair good amount of progress just now. Stupid, stupid. I was gonna go to bed. I can't believe the Fog of War came together that, that well. I wonder what happens if we take away the... the blur. Do you think it'll... do you think the bilinear filtering will just get us there anyway? Just out of curiosity? What are the odds on it looking blurred? Yeah, I mean, it looks blurred. It's not the same, obviously. It's not as good. But... It's not bad. I'd like to have the edges, the UV, warp a little bit. Is that something that I have to feed into this? <laughs> it's kind of... kind of what I was thinking. I think instead, oh, it's, I mean, we wanted to go m even more subtle than that. We're close though. If I increase the scale by even more and then make this like literally another 10th of that. Dude, that's pretty good actually. Oh, come on, man. You know what I mean. I think we almost just keep it unfiltered. Why is it not tinting towards blue? Do you guys think that the wave looks tacky? Or maybe it's just too fast? I think the art style needs a little bit of consolidation. We're almost there though. There you go. Fog of War, I still need to do the game loop bookends. Still need to do the friggin' menu. Still need to do music. Oh my God. Title art, title screen, Jesus Christ. Level design, <laughs> tutorial text. All right, I gotta go, I'm going to bed. I, if I'm gonna do this tomorrow, I need to be able to sleep tonight. Thanks everybody. As always, I've been Adam, you've been the Pixel Pals. This has been the Indie Tales Game Dev Livestream. Uh, until next time. Hey pal, thanks for watching. And thanks most especially to the patrons and Twitch subs who support this channel and my game dev project Insignia. To find out more, click the links in the description below. And uh, if you like this video, tell YouTube by clicking the like button, and then YouTube will tell me, and then I'll make more videos. That's nice. Thanks again, and uh, until next time.